The accident is a brown dwarf that was discovered, you guessed it, by accident. It took a lucky chance to spot it because it's unlike any of the other 2,000 or so known brown dwarfs. Brown dwarfs are like missing links between planets and stars, too big to be planets and too small and cool to be stars. They aren't massive enough to start fusing ordinary hydrogen in their cores and therefore shine in the way stars do, but they can slowly fuse deuterium, a heavy form of hydrogen, and in some cases lithium, so that their surface temperatures can be up to about 2000 Celsius. Being relatively cool, brown dwarfs give off most of their energy in the form of infrared radiation. The coolest of them have temperatures as low as just a couple of hundred degrees Celsius and their long wavelength radiation can be seen only by infrared telescopes that have been launched into space. The accident, which has a very long official name, was recorded by NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, or WISE, in 2009, but its presence was first recognized by citizen scientist Dan Castledon, who was using an online program he wrote to search through the WISE data for brown dwarfs. He was looking at one brown dwarf candidate when another, much fainter object moved quickly across the screen. It hadn't been identified by the program as a brown dwarf because it didn't match its search parameters, but Castledon was sufficiently intrigued to follow up his observation, and so the accident was found. When scientists looked at its infrared spectrum, they were puzzled. Some features of the spectrum suggested it was very faint, as if it had cooled off with age, while other features were bright, pointing to a higher temperature. A new study offers a solution to this mystery. In brown dwarfs that are cool, methane, composed of hydrogen and carbon, is usually very common, but the accident's light profile suggests an absence of methane. The authors of the new study argue that the accident contains hardly any carbon, and the only way this could happen is if it's very old, between 10 and 13 billion years old. That's at least double the average age of other known brown dwarfs. In fact, the Milky Way galaxy itself isn't much older than 13 billion years. It turns out that the accident is only about 50 light years away, just a stone's throw from us in interstellar terms but it's hurtling along at half a million miles an hour, a lot faster than any other nearby brown dwarf. This is another indication of its great age, because it suggests it's been going around the galaxy for a very long time, picking up speed from the gravitational pull of objects that it's encountered along the way. It isn't surprising that there should be some brown dwarfs that are extremely old, but astronomers expected them to be rare. The fact that it seems one of them is so close by suggests that there may be many more of them around than scientists previously thought. The challenge now will be to develop new search techniques to hunt for them.